My name is Alyash, and I'm from Ferrar Cartalic. We've done some pretty amazing stuff in the past on a surface treatment technology and on shot pinning technology. Today, we're doing a shot pinning on gears, a different variety of gears in a car gearbox. We are using a professional shot pinning equipment for improving lifetime and to reduce residual stresses on the components. Shot pinning process is fully controllable process and it's strictly following the say AMS 2430 standards from family 2430 standards, which you can see here. So the whole equipment and the process must follow all these requirements. Standards includes a completely controllable and memorized shot pinning process. It includes as well the recycling of the pinning media and includes the testing of the gears and of course the intensity checking before the pinning process is done. First, if we want to do this application, we need to measure the intensity. By that, we need to have the element equipment and uh, machine and proper media that we're gonna work with. For shot pinning of gears, it's important that we shot pin on the right place and that we set the nozzle on the right place of the tooth. We are going to shot pin the tooth of this gear right here. And we must be very careful to set the nozzle correctly on this surface. We are using air pressure system for, the, for this spinning application so we can control the flow of the media, we control the exact airflow, we control the speed of manipulation, etc. When that is done, we are ready to measure the intensity. We've placed the almond holder at the same angle as the tooth is, and by setting up the parameters and measure the intensity, we are then ready to make the shot pinning on the gear itself. In this particular machine, we're going to do each side of the tooth separately. the process correctly, we, are, uh, we need to check the coverage as well. For this, we can use special uh, pin pan and uh, the UV light so we can check the coverage or we can use the magnifying glass to check the, to check the coverage on the part itself. When we reach the 98% of the coverage, we'll pass this two times so we will be able to, to reach the coverage of 200%. we are ready to send the, the gear in the test lab where they will test the residual stress on the surface. Before and after treatment, we conduct periodic checks of roughness. We measure RA and RZ uh, and check it before and after pinning on this machine.
also we can check surface profile and see differences because not only lifetime, but also the noise of running gears is more and more important. Thank you for watching this video. You can follow us on social network or subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.